So welcome in to this very special edition of White Sox Weekly. We're live from the Hilton Chicago on your home for White Sox Baseball, WLS AM 890. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Connor McKnight. We have, I'll tell you what, we have a packed lineup of guests, Sox players, both current, former, the new ones too. I mean, it's so packed that I, I don't even have to spend time getting into telling you what we're going to be up to. We got plenty of time to get that figured out. I figure we just jump right into this year, the 2016 version of White Sox baseball here at Sox Fest, and there's no better way to do it than to sit down with one of the newer additions, Alex Avila coming in, going to catch a familiar guy uh, from the AL Central, from the division, a guy that White Sox fans have seen and uh, and I think respected to a point because when you catch the, the, the pitchers that you've caught over in Detroit, you come with a reputation and that reputation has been a good one so far. Alex, welcome to Chicago, man. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad to be here and very excited about everything. So, you know, you look through, you know, what you've been up to the last handful of seasons playing in this division and, you know, you come over for the, the, the one-year deal with the White Sox. Did did knowing this team and knowing what it's about kind of factor into your decision there or the familiarity was a, as an issue? Well, I think that was definitely the plus about it. Um, you know, going into the off season, I was just kind of looking for a situation that was going to be comfortable, uh, an opportunity, um, you know, not only for myself, but to win, uh, to get back to the postseason. Um, and just a, a place that fit and everything that I heard about the organization um, you know it, it seemed just like the right fit going into the off season and uh, once the White Sox called and and it was that their mutual op, uh, you know uh, them wanting to, to bring me on to try to help contribute to the team and you know it just uh, it just felt right to you know, to sign with uh, with the White Sox. Well, I got to imagine as a guy who's seen you know the, the starting staff and even some of the guys out of the bullpen that the White Sox have thrown the last handful of seasons. I mean, you know, you're going over to catch some premium talent and guys like Chris Sale and Carlos Rodon and Jose Quintana. I mean, as a catcher, you know, your thoughts about you know your eyes kind of light up a little bit when you, you know you get to catch that stuff. Maybe not you know the back foot slider that you got to go grab from Chris Sale because that's you know if it hits you in the ankle like it's gonna it's gonna hurt. But I got to imagine that's a that's a good thing for you to have. Oh, no question about it. That was one of the one of the things I was looking at. I mean, I've been, you know, extremely lucky that I've been able to catch some some pitchers that I've caught and some staffs, uh, some really good staffs over the years. And looking at this team and the pitching staff that is on this team, uh, looking at how well they've done uh, recently in the past and and the type of improvement and, and how much growing they're they're doing. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it was exciting for me to look at this team and be like, oh, this team could be very good. The pitching staff uh, can be lights out. Uh, they've been really good uh, the last uh, couple of years. Uh, they had a good season last year. And, and like you said, the talent on there is, I mean, exceptional. Um, and, you know, it, it should be exciting. It'll be a lot of fun getting to know the guys, uh, figuring out what, how everybody uh, likes to prepare, what makes them tick. and. Um, you know, get into spring training and, and get that whole process started. You know, part of the, the, the process, too, is, you know, as a catcher and a, and a pitcher, you know, a starter, whether it's a reliever or a starter, I mean, there's got to be a, a level of trust, right? And, and it doesn't come from just, like, I know what Sales Slider is going to do or when we need to throw Carlos Rodon's, you know, that kind of thing. There's, there's another level of it, and i got to imagine that at some point that's, like, it's a little bit daunting, but at the other degree, you know, it's you're going in to do what you've always done. Like, that's your... You're, it's a skill set in and of itself as a catcher, I would imagine, to know that you can develop a, a bond between yourself and a, and a pitcher. You're right. A lot of people ask me that question, how do you, you know, start with forming that trust? And I tell people it's as simple as, you know, you're making a new friend. You go introduce yourself, you say hello, and right. you start to get to know each other. And then as the days go on, as the season progresses, then that relationship takes form as, you know, you hang out, go out to dinner. We spend so much time together over the course of the season. You get to know each other well. Um, and then the next process starts on, okay, what does this guy like to do on the field? You know, what makes him successful? What makes him consistent? And uh, you try to keep all those things in line for him to do as, be as best he can. And um, the, the next thing that kind of just forms everything is, is winning. When you win, you have success. Um, everything seems to go much smoother um, and you know you tend to form that trust uh, a little bit quicker um, just because you see each other putting in the time to prepare getting ready for the game uh, and you know it actually working out as the game unfolds and those that preparation everything all that hard work you know takes shape you know that's uh, that's when all that kind of 
comes together. And it, and it is a process, and you know, sometimes takes a little bit of time, but when it all you know, comes together, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Talking with new White Sox catcher Alex Avili here on a special edition of White Sox Weekly, live from the Hilton Chicago. We've got a couple more minutes to, uh, to hang out with the brand new White Sox. I, I imagine that, you know, you've, we talked a little bit before we got on. The Tigers did something like this, a bit of a fan caravan. I mean, you come out to a place like this and you see, you know, White Sox jerseys from all the way back from, you know, the, the 50s and the 70s and the 80s. I mean, it's, it's got to be cool to see a fan base show up and, and show out like they have over the last you know, three, four hours here as we've kicked this thing off. No doubt. I think that's one thing about uh, fan bases in the north. You know, I'd see it in Detroit, seen it here in Chicago, that you, know, you get to a certain point in the winter that it just gets, I'm kind of tired of the cold. Right. I'm ready for spring. I want to see baseball again. And you know, that's one good thing about you know, having something like this um, you know, at this point in the winter time, right before spring training, it gets everybody excited for it. Uh, I mean, the fans are itching. As players, we're already getting into that mindset of getting ready for the grind of the season. So, you know, we're starting to get the itch to get back to spring training. So it's, it's, uh, it's a perfect combination for a weekend that, you know, ends up being a lot of fun. What's on the checklist for you, Alex, before we let you go? The checklist for you as you come into spring training and kind of get your, I mean, we talked so much about how, you know, you're going to deal with other guys and deal with that starting staff. You know, I know the offense wasn't exactly where you wanted it last season. How do you get back to, to where you were and what things do you, do you look to, to kind of work with the guys like Todd Steverson on this uh, White Sox coaching staff? Well, one of the biggest things I think for me is, was my health uh, over the past uh, couple of years. Uh, you know, I, I was injured last year for a right. couple of months, but uh, was able to end the season um, without having any type of injury. So I've gone into this off season uh, without any limitations or restrictions, which is uh, a first in the, in the last couple of years. And uh, I've been able to have a full off season of working out and and uh, not having to worry about doing any types of rehab. Um, you know, at the same time, once I get into spring training, uh, it'll be like you know being a new kid at school again. It'll be the first time I have spring training in Arizona, and so I'll be, you know, trying to get the lay of the land a little bit and, and get comfortable. And um, you know, I think uh, as far as getting ready for the season, you know, I'll be getting ready for the season like I always have, and and uh, and and I feel that you know now going into this spring training, uh, first time where I've I've actually really felt um, you know fully healthy. You know, I think uh, I think I'll be able to. Uh, be a big part of this team and, and produce and be consistent. That's a big thing for catchers heading into a uh, into a spring training. Congrats on that. Best of luck in the season. If I give you a couple pointers on on Phoenix, everything's 30 minutes away. There's an In and Out Burger just off the highway before you get to the uh, to the White Sox <laughs> spring training facility. Get yourself the animal style. It's fantastic. Excellent. Thank Byron. you, Alex Avila, brand new White Sox catcher here on White Sox Weekly. Appreciate you stopping by.